Now, I'm going to be tying this this fly here. Now, basically what I've done is I've tied a midge pattern. Obviously made it into a parachute. Uh, and gave it a, a wing, or a sighter if you want to call it, so you could see it. Now, there's a tying method in this I'm sure you quite like, and like to try, and it is quite simple to do. Now, the hook I'm using, this is the all-purpose medium, fully mill hook, size 14. Thread I'm going to be using is a, an olive U, uni thread, NAO. Now, I'm going to start at the eye of the hook and come down, about maybe two mil from the eye. Now for the the wing and the, the breathers and basically the small feelers at the back of the midge I'm going to be using arrow wing, white arrow wing. Now looking now see when you buy it, it comes in when you take it off the card, four strands. Now the single strand is uh, ideal for this size of fly and even the size above and being below. Now it's quite simple to tie. Now what we do is tie this forward, make sure you've got a good centimetre or so or more over the front. Come down a mill or two, put a, a, a bow into the loop into the wing. Come two or three turns down and come back up. Now this is going to be your wing here, I'm just going to trim this so you can see what I'm doing. This is going to be your wing, it's going to be the, the feelers at the back and the gills of the midge. Now I'm going to tie in a haggle at this point. This is a, believe it or not, this is a Hebert Miner saddle, cock saddle. It was originally a, a dart done and I dyed it yellow. When you dye it yellow you get this olive colour which is really good. The first thing I'm going to do is remove some of the fibres from the bottom of the stem. It's going to catch it with the stem towards the back. Come in with two or three turns up against the wing. Then you want to post this. Post the hackle and the wing at the same time. So you wind your thread up. Just every when you come round, hold the wing. The thing. Once you get about a mill, a mill and a half up, then come back down. Then you want to bring your thread to the back, tying in the base piece of the hackle, and obviously tying in the arrow wing and the way down. I'm just going to push this to the back. Now you want this to basically, I like it just to come round the bend slightly, and then trim it in line with the back, like that. Now I'm going to rub the fly using, this is uh, basically it's a flash, it's crinkle flash, you can see the crinkle in it, uh, this is from Vineyards, I like using crinkle flash as a rub, it's, it's really good, uh, catches the light really well, it does last, I mean it's not the, the strongest material in the world, but it does last. Now for the body, I mean, I'm using a, a light olive seals for, now you only need a few fibres, you don't need a lot, you want the body as thin as possible. You can see I don't have much on that. Just work your way up. Even if you leave slightly a space, you can see the thread through it. You want a, a nice thin, thin body. Bring your rib up. Looking 45 turns or so. Nice and tight. Tie it off. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of orange seals fur, and there's a wee bit of glister in there, orange glister, that I've blended into it. This will give the impression of the, the wing buds, just at the back. I say don't overdo it, that's fine. Bring a thread to the front of the wing, and then we tie in a tiny bit of the olive again. Tidy this area up. Now we can then parachute with hackle. Parachuting, what you want to do is just hold the wing as I come round. Next turn should be underneath that, 
and again underneath and then underneath nice and tight holding the ring as you go so you get enough haggle which sure it's plenty there and then what I do is just lift everything up there's your haggle in front then I pinch this nice and tight and then I come in with the thread to sort of tie it on you can fold this back if you want for strength and break it off it looks messy at the moment but we'll sort it then what we can do is come in we can then whip finish to move a thread now having this long makes it easier to trim away there's one or two files I missed yet being white it's quite hard to see on a white background but anyway trim this in line with the eye and then what we can do is then flatten this again because we have lifted it up there we go and a couple of the fibres are still there, I'm just going to take these out trim the wing usually if you pull it towards the back in line with the back of the body which is there that's a good measure trim that to say this is a sighter, this is to help you see the fly. Uh, is it if the waters if the wind drops away, sometimes pays you to trim that a wee bit, that's a wee bit shorter. But it'd be okay. Uh, try it first before you do anything. Just check everything's fine, that's it. And then what we want to do is just a wee tiny bit of varnish just under the underside here. Just be careful what you're doing. And then make sure the eyes clean. And there you go. That's your parachute image. Uh, image pupa. And it's a good wee pattern. It's a good style. Uh, you can tie it in many other colours. I mean, obviously black and orange, red. Pearl rib again. Black hackle. Grizzle hackle is very good in this one as well. Uh, the grizzle hackle is a great hackle to suspend the body. The fish don't seem to see it, so anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Simple wee fly, good fun to tie. Uh, tie it smaller, obviously you can tie up to size 10 easily and you'll still cash on it, so I hope you enjoyed that.